you can pick a spaghetti sauce and then one of each kind of noodle. Ooh. At the Henderson Christian Community Outreach Center, this is how people who are helped by the center's food pantry do their shopping. Once a month, they come into the center and get a shopping bag of food with the help of a personal shopper. The center's executive director, Mary Dunham, says it's a way to fill the gaps when the food stamps run out. I think the one thing that sets us apart um, possible is the personal touch. Uh, we know the most important thing we can do is talk with our families. And so when they, from the minute they come in, then they go get interviewed by another volunteer, then they're walked over to the food pantry and hooked up with a personal shopper. The Christian Community Outreach Center has been helping Henderson families for many years, and the Henderson County Cooperative Extension Service has been showing them how to get the most out of their food with recipes, cooking classes, and how to read food labels. And I come in and I would do like a um, food demo with them, and it'd be something that they never tasted, and they would be amazed by it. And they was like, okay, can we have the recipe, you know? And then if Mary had the, the product on hand, she would also give them the product to go with it as well. Even if the families miss the cooking demo, they are given a video on a computer thumb drive so they can watch it at home. Fresh vegetables from the center's garden, supervised by Extension Master Gardeners, are also available to families. Soon, ground will be broken on a new community outreach center which should be ready later this year. Community Christian Outreach, they are uh, so easy to get along with. They love our, our information that we give out. And, um, you know, we, we just want the community to know that we're here and, um, and that we can take stuff from um, the uh, university down to the local level. The COVID-19 pandemic forced the Henderson Christian Community Outreach Center to provide drive-up food service for a couple of months, which was hard on an organization that's all about face-to-face -face contact with its clients. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin.